Even the most jaded of travelers are moved by Lake Tahoe's breathtaking beauty. The sparkling expanse of glistening sapphire blue seas was dubbed the loveliest view the whole earth gives by Mark Twain. The lake's magnificent azure color is a result of its almost 1,640-foot depth, which is surrounded by beautiful pine forests and snow-capped mountain peaks. The water's crystallinity is a result of the Snamilt's clean origin. The top 10 Lake Tahoe attractions are covered in this video. But here is a little reminder. Kindly subscribe to this video and hit that bell icon for upcoming amazing videos. Number 10. Wander Around Emerald Bay State Park One of the area's greatest attractions is the Emerald Bay State Park, a small protected enclave on Lake Tahoe's western side. It is bordered by granite hills covered in forest and has a little islet in the mill. The waters of the bay have a remarkable aquamarine color due to the bay's little lesser depth than the rest of Lake Tahoe. The glistening waters of Emerald Bay are viewed from a surprising castle in the Scandinavian style. A special example of a Lake Tahoe summer vacation home in this idyllic setting is Vikingsholm Castle, which was completed in 1929 and is recognized as a National Historic Landmark. In the summer, from early June through early September, tours are offered every half hour from 10.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Number 9. Go Hiking Close to South Lake Tahoe Lake Tahoe is beloved by outdoor enthusiasts for its breathtaking natural beauty. The trails close to South Lake Tahoe have some of the most stunning hiking locations. These routes provide energizing or more gentle exercises and rejuvenating mountain landscapes along with lakeshore and lakeview locations. The Cascade Falls Trail is a charming and enjoyable two-mile loop that leads to Cascade Falls and offers breathtaking views of Lake Tahoe in between. The Fallen Leaf Lake Trail is a stroll along the lake's shoreline that leads from the Fallen Leaf Campground to a tranquil lakeside location, on Fallen Leaf Lake rather than Lake Tahoe. The complete journey is 2.5 miles round trip. Number 8. Take Up Alpine Skiing Alpine skiing enthusiasts flock to Lake Tahoe in the winter and early spring. The Sierra Nevada mountains are well regarded for their vast geography, pleasant climate, and smooth slopes. The most well-known ski areas near Lake Tahoe are Heavenly, which has 4,800 acres of excellent ski terrain, and Palisades Tahoe, which hosted the Winter Olympics in 1960. Even non-skiers will like riding the picturesque 2.4-mile Heavenly Gondola, which stops at an observation deck at 9,123 feet and offers spectacular views of Lake Tahoe, Carson Valley, and the Desolation Wilderness. The closest and most convenient resort for a day excursion from San Francisco is Sugar Bowl. This ancient ski resort features a charming European-style hamlet and a rustic lodge. Number 7. Go on a boat tour of Lake Tahoe. A boat tour of Lake Tahoe is a beautiful and tranquil activity. Passengers have the chance to take in the breathtaking panorama of refreshing pine trees and snow-capped Sierra Nevada mountain peaks as they glide across the shimmering blue waters. Numerous regional businesses provide boat tours or scenic cruises of Lake Tahoe's North Shore, South Shore, West Shore, or Emerald Bay. In addition to Incline Village and North Tahoe Marina in North Lake Tahoe, cruises and boat excursions leave from Zephyr Cove, Camp Richardson, Timber Cove Marina, and Round Hill Pines Marina in South Lake Tahoe. The MS Dixie I cruise around Emerald Bay, which leads from Zephyr Cove Marina, is a suggested boat trip. Visitors can take in the captivating lake landscape from a vintage paddle wheel while getting up-close views of Fanet Island and Vikingsholm Castle. Number 6. Go to the Talak Historical Site. The Pope, Baldwin, and Valhalla estates are all part of the Talak Historic Site, which is recognized by the National Register of Historic Places. The entire location is accessible to the general public from Memorial Day through September, and guests are welcome to wander the grounds at no cost. Additionally, the location hosts special events and guided tours. The historic estates have a two-day Gatsby Festival in August that draws visitors to exquisite Roaring Twenties parties, 
jazz performances, and other 1920s-themed events that evoke the social gatherings that took place during the estate's heyday. Visitors can take a guided tour of the Pope House to learn more about how Tahoe's affluent citizens lived at the start of the 20th century. The one-hour tour, which is available from Memorial Day weekend through Labor Day, lets you visit the Pope House's living room, dining room, servants' quarters, butler's pantry, and landscaped grounds. Number 5. Go to Canes Beach for a day. This sandy beach, which is backed by a Jeffrey Pine forest, is perfect for resting, swimming, and boating in the summer. On Lake Tahoe's North Shore, Kings Beach gets direct sunlight from early morning into late afternoon. The Kings Beach State Recreation Area is well designed for tourists, with lots of parking, public restrooms, picnic tables in a covered area, barbecue pits, a playground, and locations where you can rent kayaks and paddle boards. Fishing is permitted, although a license is needed. The community of Kings Beach is home to numerous hotels, fast food joints, upscale shopping centers, and street vendors that sell goods to tourists. Number 4. Go to Edsburg Sugar Pine Point State Park. The approximately two-mile-long Edsburg Sugar Pine Point State Park stretches beside Lake Tahoe and features extensive aspen, fir, pine, and juniper tree-lined woodlands. Asias W. Hellman, a successful investor, constructed the building in 1903. Florence Hellman Airman, one of his daughters, received the estate. The Hellman Airman Mansion at Sugar Pine Point State Park has stunning views of Lake Tahoe and is surrounded by 2,000 acres of forests. The mansion was created as a summer getaway home and was furnished with the most cutting-edge amenities of the day. It was informal yet tastefully rustic. Redwood woodwork can be seen in the dining rooms, while Navajo carpets are used to decorate the guest rooms. From the end of May until September, visitors can take tours of the Hellman Airman Mansion. Number 3. Take Use of D.L. Bliss State Park's Trails and Beaches A lumber magnate by the name of Duane L. Bliss made his money in the late 19th and early 20th centuries through banking, logging, and railroads. The Bliss family gave 744 acres of their private land to the California State Park System in 1929. These days, tourists can enjoy the splendor of this public park's picnic places, lakeside areas, and gorgeous sandy beaches. The beaches are hidden in heavily forested groves and require a strenuous two-mile climb to reach them, giving them a remote vibe. Lester Beach and Callaway Cove in the park rank among Tahoe's most breathtaking beaches. In addition to swimming in the clear waters and tanning in the warm summer sun, Water sports enthusiasts also enjoy the ideal circumstances for fishing, kayaking, canoeing, and paddleboarding. Number 2. Enjoy Sand Harbor State Park's Scenery and Activities Sand Harbor State Park in North Lake Tahoe, Nevada offers miles of sandy beaches in addition to secret coves and cool pine forests. Summertime outdoor activities have an amazing backdrop because of the gorgeous surroundings. In the crystal clear waters of Lake Tahoe, the 55-acre park provides opportunities for swimming, scuba diving, and kayaking. From Memorial Day to Labor Day, lifeguards are on duty. The docks at the boat launch are appreciated by sailors, kayakers, and boat enthusiasts. The Sand Harbor to Memorial Point Trail, a half-mile trail with access to secluded beaches and rocky coves, and the Sand Point Nature Trail, a short hike with spectacular lake views are both ideal for scenic strolls. Aside from shaded picnic areas, Sand Harbor State Park also has fragrant Jeffrey Pines. The Sand Harbor Visitor Center, which has a gift shop and a casual restaurant are additional amenities. Number 1. At Donner Memorial State Park, explore the trails or relax by the lake. Part of a wave of pioneers who traveled to California in the middle of the 1800s, the infamous Donner Party set off on their westward trip from Springfield, Illinois in April of 1846. The group decided to pursue a route that was thought of as a shortcut to California when they arrived at Fort Bridger. Unfortunately, a questionable guide had suggested this approach. By the time the Donner Party arrived in the Sierra Nevada mountains in October 1846, the mountain pass they were traveling through was blocked by a lot of snowfall. The group was compelled to establish a lakeside camp with flimsy huts and subpar food. 
Nearly half of the group perished throughout the winter as a result of the intense weather, starvation, and hazardous circumstances. The mountain pass that the Donner Party encountered today is known as Donner Pass, and it may be found in the Tahoe National Forest. The pioneer monument in the nearby Donner Memorial State Park honors the early settlers of California. Did you find this video helpful? If so, please feel free to post your feedback in our comment section below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.